welcome back today we are going to be looking at neco 2025 electricity practical we are going to follow this diagram this circuit diagram i'm going to follow it to do the connection show you step by step how to do the connection then we'll plot the graph we are going to plot the graph get our readings plot the graph and then check the result of this experiment please if this is your first time hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and turn the bell notification on so that once there is any new video after this i'm going to do for optics you will be notified once there is any new video please turn the bell notification and subscribe to this channel i've done already for mechanics check the videos in the channel and check the video on mechanics i've also done for biology and i'm expecting other video from chemistry the first thing we are asked to provide the key then ammeter zero to two voltmeter zero to two two dry cell that's three volts and then the resistance bus please for my own practical i'm using ammeter zero to five but i'm conscious of the reading that is zero to two the only thing is that zero to two will make you read in between the other reading and it's better but uh please if you have zero to two ammeter and zero to two voltmeter drop in the comment section i have zero to two ammeter i have zero to two voltmeter so that will follow up when you do your own you'd come and drop and tell us what your own will give you a clearer reading but for my own what is available now is zero to five and zero to five and i'm going to use it so let's go right into the video we'll follow the circuit diagram the resistance okay let me start from the battery this is the battery the negative of the battery the negative of the battery this is the negative of the battery the blue part is the positive this is if you check it's written on it positive negative so the negative of the battery is connected with we have the unknown resistor we want to find the unknown resistor x and you know it's two ohms labeled x so we are going to connect the unknown resistor in parallel with the voltmeter then connect the ammeter in series so this is the ammeter now connected to the key from the key to the battery from the battery we have two wires one coming from the voltmeter and this one coming from the voltmeter and one coming from the resist from the x that's the two ohm resistor this is the two of them the two then the next part of the voltmeter will go to the resistance bus this is the resistance bus voltmeter connected to the resistance bus make sure all the keys are complete make sure everything is complete then from the resistance bus we'll have it one wire from the resistance bus and one wire from x one wire from resistance bus another wire from x connected to the ammeter so this is the connection that i've done then the next thing is let's go to the procedure hope you got the circuit diagram now the procedure connect the circuit as shown we have seen the circuit diagram close the key and record the voltmeter and ammeter reading we'll close the key and record the reading on the ammeter and the voltmeter then we'll vary the resistance using the resistance bus we'll do for one ohm two ohms three ohms four ohms we'll just be removing it removing from the resistance bus ensure that your resistance bus is working because most times it's it can have issues but this is a new one or you can use the digital resistance bus where you just that one is is also good if you can get it okay so we'll do for one for two for three for four and for five 
so that we can plot a graph for v against i find the slope and don't forget the precaution let's go right into the practical please like this video give it a thumbs up and i know you're enjoying the content already thank you let's fill up let's do the practical and fill up the table of values so that we can plot the graph we are doing for r one two three four five for each value of the resistor from the resistance bus we will get the value of the votes from the volt meter and the ammeter hope you can see the connection clearly and the reading on the ammeter and the voltmeter so the first thing is let's close the key let's close the key good and then go to the ammeter and take the reading on the ammeter this is our first reading let's call this one without parallax error on the ammeter let's say is 0 0.4 okay we we'll record the first reading let me open the key and record the first reading we got 0 0.40 for the ammeter reading and one for the volts meter reading so we'll close the key this time around and then remove one ohm from the resistance bus you see once you remove one ohm you will see that there will be decrease in the value for the volt meter for the volt meter it has tilted a little back so we can say 0 0.0.98 0 .98. and on this one you can say 0 0.3 on the ammeter we have 0 0.30 voltmeter 0 0.98 okay we'll do for two we'll remove two and check our readings again for two we'll have it decreased again let's say 0 0.95 and then one two one two three this one let's say 0 0.28 that's why if you're using 0 to 2 ammeter and voltmeter you'll be able to read those values in between more accurately please if you have 0 to 2 voltmeter and 0 to 2 ammeter drop a comment i have it i've tried i've looked for it in the market i've not really seen so i'm still using the 0 to 5 that is available in the lab so let's do for three I removed two and one. Remember that this is the resistance bus. When we are doing for three, just remove two and one. Two and one, I removed it so that I can get the value with the key closed. Let's take the readings together. It has reduced back to let's say 0 0.94 because it's still between that 0 0.9 then the current also reduced to 0 0.29 then we'll repeat for four ohms i'll put back one and then remove two two ohms and check the readings with the key closed this is still zero. This one is even 0 0.9. I see this 0 0.99, but I'll still record it like that. 
will give room to plus or minus two error. Then this one is zero point two seven. Okay, for five now, I'll remove this and check. Zero point nine five, and this one reduced to zero point two five. Okay, this is what we have. Let's plot the graph and see the nature of the graph. The title will be graph of V, graph of V against I. So that here will be V in volt. Remember the unit. Then I current in amperes. Let me pick for current 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Please watch the video on how to plot graphs in physics. Plotting those values are not hard. Some students find it difficult. Please watch that video. You'll see the secret I exposed on how to plot graph. Then for this, remember that they can ask you to do for 1 over B and 1 over I or any very it. But I'm just doing this for students to have what to practice with. While we are preparing for the exam, we cannot just wait. We need to be practicing. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, then 1.0. So I will start. When V is 0 0.9, it is 0 0.3. 0 0.9, it is here. So I will mark it. Then when V is 0 0.95, this is 0 0.28. This is 0 0.28. You know, these lines are, you just count the small, small lines. 0 0.21, 0 0.2, until the number 8, that's 0 0.28. So, and this one is 0 0.5, that's in between this place, 0 0.95. 28 is here. Okay. So when is 0 0.94? 0 0.94, we have 0 0.29. We'll go back a bit and 94. The values are very close. Then we are going to plot what we have. When is 0 0.27, 0 0.99? 0 0.27, somewhere there. Then we have 0 0.99, which is up. 99. This here, 0 0.99 is here. And then this is 0 0.27. Then when is 0 0.25? That's the middle of 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. 0 0.25, this is 0 0.95. So 0 0.95 is here. It's here. This is 0 0.95. This here. So I'm going to pick the values are close. Maybe if you pick a better as is, but let's see if we can pick three points. Let's try and pick three points. Let me pick these three points. I'm okay with these three. Or you can pick these three. That's these three points. One, the first one I did, I got around 2.8. And I think I'm expecting something around there, around 2. If I'm to find the resistance of X, that's the unknown resistance. But if you have any contribution, please drop it in the comment section. I'm still practicing. I can still do more and come up with better. I, if you have any idea, just share it. Please feel free to share it in the comment section, please. So that I'll work on it. If you don't have the, mat, the apparatus for the practicals, you can just come up with ideas. Since I have it, I'll do it and post. Everybody will contribute. 
It's just for us to have teaching aid for our children before the practicals. Please thank you for watching to this point. I know you're going to drop a comment and give your own suggestion. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel so that I can keep doing more and be encouraged. Thank you. See you in the next video for optics. Thank you.